don't think you can see him, but Simmy's in here now. Simmy. Don't want to wake him. Look at the kitty. He's always in the way of bed making. Sorry, Mimi. Oh, I'm so sorry. He's hanging on for dear life. <laughs> Let it go. Okay, I guess this is staying like this. If only getting ready was that easy and fast, life would be a joy. Good morning, you guys. Welcome to our morning and nighttime routines. This video is kind of interesting. Uh, Taylor and I came up with the idea for us to split up for this video. So I will take on the morning routine and Taylor will do the nighttime routines. So yeah, we're gonna spend the morning together and I'm just kinda gonna do what I usually do on a regular morning. Each day is honestly sort of different. It really depends what is going on for Taylor and I's days, what's going on for my day individually. And there is a lot going on constantly, just never ending. So today is a day off for me so i'm not working today so it's kind of the perfect time to show you guys the morning routine that i would do on a day of not working so i'm just going to actually touch up my hair first i usually do this in the bathroom but today i just brought it into my room just to make things easier so yeah you guys saw a bit of my morning already that is usually what i do like straight away when i wake up i lay in bed for what feels like a million years i decide to finally get up i do my washroom stuff first i come back clean up my room just make my bed change into my outfit for the day it's honestly opening the blinds helps so much it helps tremendously i don't know what it is just make your bed and open your blinds in the morning and something about you just feels refreshed and set for the day from there on i usually tend to uh go downstairs honestly and i will make breakfast and i will watch netflix for a little bit kind of depending on like what i have going on and how much time i have sometimes i'll watch netflix downstairs but majority of the time i'll bring it like my food up with me to my room and I will sit in my bed for longer eating breakfast and watching Netflix but I'm not really hungry this morning so I decided I decided you know I can get ready and do that stuff first this time until and like just wait till I get hungry because I just don't feel hungry at all right now I am a nighttime shower 110% if I shower during the day it's like an afternoon shower because I went to the gym or something so what is next on the list honestly I have zero clue I'm honestly a very disorganized person as of late which is so weird because um, I'm usually very organized and, and on top of my stuff, but I feel like because I haven't been in my planner in a while, I've been really like unorganized in the mornings and I just kind of realized that I'm wasting a lot of time just like doing nothing scrolling on my phone because I don't have a plan put together. So I'm gonna be writing in my planner a little to-do list of things that I have to do for the day. I find that that usually helps get me organized. I just cleaned my makeup brushes all last night and my makeup drawer everything feels so clean and it makes me so happy um as far as my to-do list though for today i honestly there's not a lot to do it's just like the things that i have to do take up a lot of time you know what i mean the first thing that i really have to do is wrap all of my christmas gifts today or at least majority of them i also have to pack at some point but i think i'm just going to do that another day but like the biggest thing i have to do is edit. Taylor and I are doing a vlogmas. We were supposed to be posting all throughout the month of December. However, stuff happens. So we have decided to do five days leading up to Christmas 
and since we're doing that with literally no time left we're both busy our work schedules are completely different i'm leaving for the weekend and like the four days leading up to all the editing process we are like cramming all of the filming time into now and because of all the filming time coming into now we have to have the videos pre-edited which some of them are but like it just takes like a long time. Some of those videos that you'll watch can take over a couple days to edit depending on what it is. I want to put out like stuff that I'm still going to enjoy and like because I'll watch the videos from time to time myself. Basically we both have a lot to edit and Taylor is at work currently so that just kind of means we have to share the editing process. Another thing I have to do today is check the mail because I have Christmas gifts coming in the mail last minute. I'm honestly talking like when I've been unorganized like I'm talking I'm unorganized I'm a mess and it may not look like it but I feel like it so that is all I'm doing for makeup today and getting ready I keep it simple on my days off because what is the point um I could care less <laughs> let's go check the mail because i'm pretty sure i have gifts in there and i'm so excited so let's go i think something just came in the mail for me i'm so excited look how cute this mug is Let's look at what I got. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys the things that came in the mail and just other random things that I bought today. So yeah. So the thing that came in the mail, which I'm so excited to give him, are pajamas, but they're not just pajamas. They're matching pajamas! <laughs> I don't know why I'm so excited for this, but like I just think it's the most adorable thing ever. And something that is amazing about this that I didn't even realize is they have pockets. And then the other random things that I got for today are different bags. I'm kind of going for a brown theme. I'm going to wrap gifts in brown paper and then the bags are gonna be mainly brown. It was Taylor's idea and she just knows what's up, so I listened to her. The tissue paper, I mainly bought it because of this one. Candy canes with the brown background, and it's perfect to match the bags. And then the last thing that I bought, so unnecessary, but these plaid bows that are the cutest little thing ever. I'm going to stick them like on the front of people's gifts because that is something that my family always does, and I'm excited to be able to do the same back. Honestly, sometimes wrapping the gifts are the most fun part. I'm a person who keeps things off of packages from gifts and stuff like that so I feel like doing that it's just so cute and I just love it you guys basically saw what I do in the morning now we're on to like my to-do list part this is just one of the things that's on my to-do list that I talked about wrapping gifts so after that that's pretty much my morning I don't really know what else to say let's just wrap a bit <laughs> That is all of my wrapping done for today. That has been my side of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed my morning routine. Uh, it's pretty basic. There's nothing much to it. Now we're going to go and see Taylor's night routine. Go Tay! What's up? I was just watching back some clips and if you notice how red I am right now, I just, I'm having anxiety right now. I don't know what it is. I've been, well, I do know what it is. I'm a liar. I'm hoping this night routine helps. I'm sure you just came from Brooke's part of the video. She did her morning routine with you guys. Brooke and I have completely different lives and different routines. So it would be best we got to split it up. And here I am with you at nighttime. <laughs> I just really want to treat this time 
like we're on FaceTime right now. Like we're just hanging out, girly pop, me and you. Really random, but I've been so obsessed lately with creating a certain type of environment and mood. It's just three simple things, lighting, scent, and sound. Putting those three things together really changes your environment and for me personally changes the mood I'm in. That was something I really wanted to talk about when it came to doing my night routine because I found it really important to set a really good mood before bed and to have a better sleep. It's also nice to just care for yourself like every once in a while. It's so underrated. I feel like we do so much for other people. It's so important to do those same things for yourself. This video, hopefully if anything, just helps you recognize that you should be doing things for yourself. And a night routine is where it's at. Full transparency, my night routine changes all the time. I do not have a steady night routine. And this is actually something I'm looking to change in 2024. And you'll see me talk about that more in a future video. I'm gonna try my best to keep this talking minimal, but about the whole environment thing, I don't like using the big overhead lighting. It's better to use lamps and, and more of a low key lighting. That's kind of what I've been really stepping into. And when it comes to sound, kind of strange if you're not used to it, but I love putting on frequency sounds. So different frequencies channel different energies in a way, I guess. And it's low key the most relaxing shit I've ever done. And if you're really open-minded, I would say give it a try. It's just so relaxing and I love doing this when I'm stressed out, feeling anxious. And then lastly for scent, oh my God, scent is one of the strongest of our senses, such a memory inducer. Pick what you like, use essential oils, spray room sprays, like do whatever the fuck you need to do to relax and unwind. I wrote a list. It's the best way my brain can stay organized. I'm an overthinker, I have busy brain all the time. This is the plan for today. I'm just gonna have a, a nice everything shower. Uh, there's a lot of videos on YouTube. If you don't know what an everything shower is, go ahead and look it up. Just not educating today. I'm not in the mood to educate, just in the mood to do. This is supposed to be like really relaxing time for me. I want it to be similar for you. So let's just get to it. Other than that, I'm happy to have you here with me. If you're feeling any sort of anxiety or anything that I've been feeling lately, then the very least I hope this video can help you unwind through the screen as well but otherwise do something good for yourself this is your reminder do something good for yourself you deserve it all right love you let's get into it so committed to creating this perfect vibe that I was talking about that I brought in the lamp from my room. So that's kind of where I'm at with this. Also, yes, I'm sitting on my bathroom counter. Don't make it weird. I have to do a pedicure. That's why we're up here. That's the only explanation you're getting. Also, this is a very realistic night routine because people in my house have gone to sleep. And as a result, I do have to talk quieter now, but good thing for the mic. I'm falling in my sink, like I'm genuinely, my ass is falling in the sink, oh my god. I moved my lamp because I felt like it was too distracting there, but now I feel like I'm telling ghost stories, so. All right, ghost telling stories vibe it is. I'm sorry, there's only so much I can do. All right, let's continue our theme, shall we, of like little FaceTime call. We're just hanging out, you and I. Oh, I wanted to read something quick. Having a shower at night, it could be like just one of the greatest resets. And I once saw this quote and I got it because I'm amazing. And I'll just read it to you. It's basically the idea of, of a shower meditation. So it says, stress it, oh, 
I can't read. Every time you take a shower, visualize washing away your stress and anxiety. Concentrate on the feel of the water upon your skin. Envision the power of the water washing away your negative thoughts. Feel sadness, regret, anger, and depression washing it right off of you. Let it all go down the drain. You'll start to feel lighter and much more clear. It is like a little cringy, possibly. But yeah, I just wanted to, I guess, share that because sometimes you just need all the tools you can get to try to feel better. If I have any sort of knowledge that I can share, then I like to try to do that because I want people to feel better. Anything that I can do to like kind of help or like any advice that I have. Sometimes I'm chronically online, so. <laughs> Another thing that I think could really help if you're feeling a lot of anxiety, at the end of the shower, turn your water cold, like very cold, and just stay under it for like literally five seconds. I don't know the exact science behind it, but it does help your anxiety. So I did that tonight. If that's something you've never tried or didn't know about it, maybe try it. So I was thinking about making this Instagram post. It just came to me today, the idea. Someone in my life had told me that um, they didn't, like I wasn't that girly. And it wasn't meant to be an insult, but um, I still kind of took it hard. I want to be seen as girly and I was kind of like, I didn't really think that was true. And I was kind of described as like being more plain. And I was like, am I? I didn't think I really was. But honestly, after that <laughs> happened, it kind of just brought out the most girliest version of me known to date. I've been loving it and it's actually really nice. So I'm kind of maybe glad for that comment. I don't know. But one of the things I've really been obsessed with lately is my nails. My nails are always done. I, like either I'm doing this, which is like fake solar gel, putting press-ons on myself, or, or I've been doing like my own shellac gel either at home or at the salon. I don't really use regular nail polish anymore because I hate the way it chips. And Simba's crying at the door. Yeah, if I'm not, he wants in. Ugh, Simba. I'm sorry, that was kind of annoying. A whole bunch of stuff just happened. Simba really interrupted. What I was saying is that my nails have become randomly very important to me. Long story short, this brand called Madame Glam sent Broken Eye this amazing gel kit that you can use at home is what I'm doing right now to do my pedicure. I've already used this kit once and I used it on my nails and it was really great actually. It lasted like a week before it started even chipping at all and then it was only chipping on some nails and on the other nails I had to like force it off. I've been in need of a pedicure, like a good pedicure. And since my nails had this solar gel on, I was like, well, I might as well put shellac on my toes because if it lasts a week on your fingernails, do you know how long it lasts on your toes? Like double the time, it's crazy. This is what it looks like when it's on. It has like the little button. So yeah, they sent us a base coat, a top coat. We got three different colors. So we have Astro Pie, which is like this really cute um, dark gray. And I love that these bottles, they have the colors on the top. So simple, like you don't even have to open it to look at them. So we have Astro Pie, Nova, and Milky Way. I used Milky Way on my fingernails last time. So tonight I actually kind of want to try this Nova. It's like a green color, but sometimes the salons can get expensive. Just being able to like have this at home now is really helpful. But yeah, if you guys are interested in getting this kit or know someone that will use something like this all the time, we have a link down in our description box that is a specific link using our discount code so if you click it it takes you right to their website and our discount code is already applied it's 30 percent off it's brook and taylor 30. when you go to check out just click pay as you go you don't have to sign up to be a member a nail kit like this is a good christmas gift i did get my sister's nail kit off of amazon like this um like a couple christmases ago and we all shared it and used it for the longest time and I would always have to go over her house to get it to borrow it and now i have my own which is sweet the link's in the description just click on it check it out i haven't been up actually i was gonna say i haven't been up too much but that's a lie why am i like not telling the truth so i bought a car kind of crazy right i bought my first car it's so cute and i really want to give you guys a tour of it sometime or like maybe in a video coming up decorate like put little random things in it or something never spent so much money at once so it was like definitely a very adult purchase anyway that's kind of what i've been doing i want to get back to sharing more of my life i feel like i haven't shared anything with you guys in the longest time like even on instagram i want to go live again and i think i'm gonna go live tomorrow and i'm just gonna like wrap christmas presents or something 
I'll put my username on the screen. It's also always in the description box, both of our Instagrams. Definitely fell off there for a bit and I didn't like the way that feels. So I've also been getting back into writing music again. I haven't played the guitar in forever and I was playing recently. So difficult with these nails, by the way, but, and I wrote a song today. It's not finished, but it's on its way. And it honestly came out of nowhere. Sometimes I get really frustrated if I am not feeling creative and I can't create something that I'm trying to, but today it just happened and um, I really like it. I've been so obsessed with this artist C. Rose lately, so I felt really inspired and wrote something of my own that's kind of similar, like a similar vibe. If it was produced, I'm just thinking about all the like instruments that could be added. Everything I write is just like, on my acoustic guitar. One of my biggest New Year's resolutions is to work on my music more so I'm very happy that I was able to create something today oh my god Simba come here I'm really debating whether showing you this pedicure or not because people are so creepy online about toes anyway I'm just gonna quickly finish up this pedicure and then I'm gonna carry on with the rest of this night routine and we'll head over into my bedroom it's at this point now where we're in the night uh, where literally anything could happen. It depends what mood I'm in. This is the time of night where I usually either journal, read, edit, watch TV with a snack, yoga, meditate, go to the gym, literally any of those things. I have no consistency. I have no actual routine. I felt like that needed to be zoomed in. I don't know. Right now, the gym is not the vibe. Absolutely not. So I know that's not a thing. This is my plan. I'm going to do a meditation. I need to edit. Like I haven't done anything enjoyable for myself in a while. So I think I'm going to get a snack and watch a Christmas movie. I had an idea and I'm going to put that song that I was talking about that I had just wrote today it's not properly produced or recorded it's literally just iphone audio quality but i was kind of thinking of just overlaying it with those clips and you can kind of hear a bit what i'm making and creating lately and hopefully that gets you and me both excited for the future of what could possibly be for my music just wanted to say thank you so much if you've been watching these vlogmas videos we haven't said in a really long time that you're dope and that you're cool and sometimes you just need to be reminded that you are just keep going day by day we love you and we will see you tomorrow for vlogmas day four and the way that i adored you with no proof was so innocent and it foolish of me so goddamn naive for you but nothing It's so hard to admit